We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Palmisano here. Just got back from uh, Colorado in Breckenridge. That was awesome. It's like negative 16 out there. Amazing. And then I fly home, and the very next day after a kid's soccer game, a kid's indoor baseball practice, yeah, season starts in April, already practicing indoor, then uh, another kid's birthday party, then I drive to D.C. and have dinner and catch a show courtesy of Corey Wong. What a band that was. You had Antoine singing, you had Sierra Hall doing uh, Killer Mando, crushed doing a Del McCurry cover. Seriously, go check them out. Corey and everybody, thank you so much for um, being such an incredible host and inviting me down. And so now I'm back on the website. Bam. Got to get back. Got to get back on the horse. And Joseph M. Scorba wants to hear Andy Timmons' Electric Gypsy. Joseph, or Joseph, first off, thanks for being a student. Really appreciate you. Very happy to click this. I know who Andy Timmons is. I don't think I've reviewed him on this channel or, or featured him or, or dissected a solo, but I got to hear him live last Nam two, three years ago, who can remember, um, when he was on stage with Paul Gilbert, Andy Wood, uh, Mark Lettieri, um, and he kind of stole the show. Tone, phrasing, all of it. So here we go. With pleasure, we click. I don't know who that is playing bass. I'm really sorry. All you out there, light me up in the comments. Um, I'm just going to say this. Guitar players really generally know their neck the least in the band. Kind of true. We're kind of guilty about it. And bass players, everyone I've ever played with, seems to really know where every note is. As basic and simple as that sounds, you know how we are guitar players. You know it. So learning things like that will really help you as a guitar player, not just as a bass player. What you saw him do, again, not trying to make this a million hour video, is basically focus on the root of each chord, so my sixth string, his fourth string, and the third of each chord. But he does lots of really interesting stuff in there. D major, Sometimes he plays a C major, thinking D mixo. Goes to G major. Does A minor and B minor, but then sometimes throws in that C sharp, makes it A major. Connecting with melody lines. If you go through and you break that down, you'll really get a feel for how to connect that harmony and the melody because it's so stripped down 
because it's on base. Highly encourage you all to spend the time to do that. Let's go. Okay, so the bass player uh, uh, um, prefaced this. Your D major. Five, right? Your A chord. Six, B minor, four, G. And what you do is you see Andy playing that movement with a bunch of different inversions, getting a killer single coil rhythm sound. So these little pieces. So that there's your D like that. That uh um uh uh so, then they got the A, right? <laughs> Hammer on that third to B. G like that, pattern one. much to talk about in here uh you can hear his hands this is a lot cleaner than he than you might think okay essentially what's happening here is he's hitting harmonics these are those tap harmonics you know uh an octave above essentially where this finger is if you hit this and you right i don't have any juice on it but it'll it'll ring out that harmonic. Um, but the muting of his left hand and after he hits the harmonic with his right hand, that's what really uh, shines for me. Because this is pretty damn clean. And you can tell because you can hear his hands move around the fretboard. It's extremely confident. It's extremely purposeful. And... The key to this stuff, I'm telling you, is in the muting and having, it doesn't have to be distortion, but enough juice on your amp that you can kind of lean in, lean out, and let the volume of the stage re-reverberate that harmonic, that note. Let the string kind of keep going. You got to have the power, but you also got to have the control. This is a pleasure to watch. <laughs> so nasty and again the bass player kind of prefaced this before in the solo um e minor down to c but major because you hear him do all the hendrick over that c right and all that that clearly e minor right 
And then it's just, just, just the, the licks, his phrasing is unstoppable. And then you're right back into that D part. But keeping that same uh, double stoppy Hendrix thing, where, uh, you know, just like, just like this. You're leading major third, first inversion here, C major, like that. Same deal here. When you, when you switch back to D, all those little inversions, those double stops, where you have that, where you're kind of like leading with the third each one, the opposite of what the bass was doing, having the bass in the bass. Um, but keeping that throughout the modulation really just adds to the texture. And that's kind of what you have to do as a three piece too, right? You gotta be big. That was the best pickup ever. Um, your harmonics at 12 is your octave. Your harmonics at seven, so you get, um, is your fifth. Your harmonic at five is a double octave. Your harmonic at four. Again, I don't have any juice on I got my single coils. I mean, he's got his single coils. He can do it. I don't know, but anyway, at four, that is a major third, I believe. All I'm trying to say is, he's hitting the chord tones of each of the chords that are passing by, and he's mapped out whether he's going for the root, the fifth, or third, and he's figured out what strings he's going to do them on to hit each one and cascade. That is a planned out thing. You know, you have to, you have to spend the time and learn... Um, where that's all going to be to do it, right? Um, so just know that if you go to try to do that, you really got to pay attention. But man, the cleanliness of how he's just letting the amp do the work is so good. Let's, let's, let's hear this drop. Oh man, what a great Andy Timmons lick. Chord tones, baby. Major third to fifth. Down, third, nine, root. Six, one, two, three to four. Down to three. God. on purpose or not, but that was bitching. That, that. A sharp, B flat, whatever you want to call it. You know, that's your flat six in the key of D. But he just, he, unlike how I would do it, and I would, and I would, you know, I get in and out of there fast. He kind of lays on it. He kind of makes you, you know, Take it a little bit. I respect that. Yeah, someone in the crowd caught that. 
That was so hot. And then the bass player comes and catches catches the motif with them coming out. That little diminished run. Uh, uh, um, what the hell was he doing? Uh, uh, what the hell is he doing? And then listen to the bass. Okay, so, Joseph, we need to do a deep dive on an Andy Timmons lead. It, it might even be this one. Uh, this video is, I mean, just a quick reaction. Again, that's what I saw at Nam. Incredible sense of melody, right? This is the point of melody. It's why I preach learn the melody to everything, right? Because as guitar players, we, we, we are so guilty of often just learning the guitar parts and not the melody. Andy connects every chord perfectly and it doesn't sound like a scale it doesn't sound planned out it sounds fluid it makes sense there's not a bunch of crazy jumps it sounds as it should sound right master class we need to do a deep dive um but the control the control and the conviction are what stand out to me with him the tone is in the hands, right? But it's also the conviction with which you do it. So you can be that clean and still be that fluid and that powerful, 
right? And mute like that. Like you hear his hands on the fretboard. This isn't a this isn't this isn't, you know, touched up and erased and, and it got a bunch of nonsense on it. This, this, you're hearing it when he wants you to. Masterful. Masterful. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. If you like the vibe here, you can tell it's a little different. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Um, if you want to learn more about connecting melodies with chords and whatever, um, I invite you to do like Joseph or Joseph. Join Guitargate. You have all my courses, all my lessons, and new feature here. Check this out. Videos in the banner. What is that, you might ask? That is every video I have ad-free on the website for everybody taking lessons, including the blocked ones that I can't play on YouTube. It's all there. And obviously, if you're a student, you get to pick, like Josef, what comes next by uploading to this React request page. That's it. That's my little pitch. I love you all. Have a great day. See you soon. Cheers.